Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is Ty. I'm talking about Monero V, also known as XMV. It is a hard fork of Monero happening on March 14th. We're going to take a look at what Monero V is, a brief look at the white paper, talk about some of the controversial stuff that the Monero community does not like about Monero V, and then lastly, I will talk about how you can protect yourself if you want to claim Monero V. I think it's going to be extremely important to protect yourself if you want to claim this coin. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Going to the website, you can go to the website at MoneroV.org. The website is fairly plain. This is actually the first website I haven't seen with all the little connecting dots. But they have a little countdown to the fork, which is again March 14th. It's 17 days, 9 hours from now. If you want to know the exact block height, it is 1,529,810 if you have a block explorer and want to see exactly when that's going to happen. You will be rewarded 10 Monero V for every one Monero you have. Keep in mind you do need to own the private keys of your Monero. You need to have your Monero on a wallet that you own the private keys. As of right now, there is no exchanges that are supporting the fork. There might be some exchanges, but I don't really see some of the bigger exchanges like Binance or Bittrex supporting this fork. Some of the things are controversial with Monero V and a lot of times they want to stay away from that controversy. If some of the exchanges do support it, it'll probably be some of the smaller ones. I just don't see some of the larger ones happening. And like I said, you will be rewarded 10 to 1 ratio. So if you have like 7 Monero, you'll get 70 Monero V. The website is fairly basic, so I'll just kind of tell you what Monero V is. What Monero V is, is they're trying to prove a few things on Monero. From what I've seen, the code is not open yet. They are talking about giving the code or opening the code out a few days before the fork or maybe right at the uh, fork. I don't know what's really going to happen and nobody does. But basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to improve some things with Monero. The biggest thing is Monero has a infinite supply. They're going to have a finite supply on these coins, which will be 256 million coins. If you know anything about Monero on how the difficulty adjusts and what's going to happen in like 10 years, even though it does have an infinite supply, it's like at a 0.8% inflation rate per year, which is really small. But they think this is a big thing that to have a finite supply. Whether you believe that or not, it's up to you. I don't think it's a very important thing, but this is one thing that they are basing it on. Another thing is they see problems on scalability with Monero, and there's a couple implementations that they're going to fix that scalability or help the scalability with this. Looking at the roadmap next, March 18th will be when you actually receive your coins after the snapshot. On June 18th, they are planning on doing a lightweight wallet where you have the choice to download the entire blockchain or if you do not want to you don't have to. September 18th they're going to do a big num fix uh, which is kind of a code error with or a, I don't know if you can call it code error but it's with Monero I won't get into the technical about that and then the proof of work change on Q119 and then Mimble Wimble implementation. Mimble Wimble implementation is something a where you can scale a coin better it's kind of where it doesn't look at every transaction it's looking at more of the users mimble wimble is a something in harry potter i've never read harry potter but the user that wrote this and put it out was anonymous and it's actually pretty interesting um, the specs on it like i said it's 256 million capped on that It'll be 158 million XMV after the hard fork. It is a proof of work crypto night, and they say that is going to be changed. Crypto night is a algorithm, a hashing algorithm. Uh, it's trying to be ASICs resistant, and then it, the difficulty readjusts on every single block. Like I said, the difficulty does adjust on every block. The block time will be every minute and a half. The reward will be a smooth decrease and then eventually minimum will be 6 XMB per block. Block size is 2 M100 and then privacy is the ring signature, stealth addresses. So the ring signature, those of you who don't know how like Monero works, is it sends 
five basically sends kind of like five transactions four of them will be decoys and then one of them will be the actual amount it's really hard to track monero so that's kind of basically it they have some q a on it and looking at their twitter the twitter doesn't have a, a considerable amount of people it's only about two thousand people I am in their telegram. I was asking some questions. It's a pretty quiet telegram. You can't look at past history, which I'm not sure why, but you can't look at past history. All my questions were answered in it. So it's a decent community. You can look on the announcements. They have it on Bitcoin Talk. Uh, there's only six pages and it's mainly people fighting back and forth on the vulnerabilities and people liking Monero B. So it's very mixed on the Bitcoin Talk. They're fairly active on the Twitter. They post every few days and that's, you know, that's basically it. Let's look at the white paper. Like I said, the first part talks about how the max coin supply, that's one of the biggest falls with Monero. And so they're going to have a max coin supply of 256 million. They plan on scaling this with uh, Mimble Wimble and where you can the to explain Mimble Wimble would take about a 30 minute video period and then they'll also scale it having like lightweight wallets and everything like that the comparison to Monero is uh, a finite supply where Monero is infinite it's going to be 10 times the amount of coins um, the emissions per block is a smooth emission decline and so you will, the mining rewards will get decreased and decreased. Uh, it starts at, you know, it doesn't have a Genesis block. It starts at that block height. It's every 120 seconds, just like Monero. And then the difficulty adjustment is every block versus like Bitcoin, where it happens every two weeks, which is 2016 blocks. The, the proof of work algorithm is crypto night. And this is, ASICs kind of it's kind of ASICs resistance where it's required like two megabytes of memory and you can make ASICs for crypto night but it's it's too expensive and nobody's going to so you can mine this with your just your regular CPU um, nothing too important talking about the airdrop it's 10 times it's a few a few days afterwards the hard fork release is on that block height uh, you will need to download the Monero V wallet to receive that. Uh, the the white paper is fairly is fairly small, um, pretty simple. There is a pre mine that's 5.85 percent has been pre mined. I don't really like pre mines, and then um, the, of those coins that are pre mined. 66.6 percent .6 goes to the developers where you don't have that wallet address and then 33.3 percent .3 is i guess kind of the developers but they give you that wallet address so you can see what's happening with these funds or what's going on future developments is the web wallet and then the light wallet a proof of work modification and then the mimble wimble integration and that's that's kind of basically it um here's a few things you need to know about Monero V is the developers you don't know if it's one developer or who the developers are it is hidden I, I don't typically like projects that the developers are hidden there is the code that it is not open source right now they are talking about opening the code out before the fork we'll see if that actually happens but it is going to be pretty important that they open that code out so you can see or the GitHub so you can see what's going on with the code because they could put anything in that code to they could put back doors and there, there's no telling until they open that code up. So if they open the code up after the fork, there could be back doors of, you know, trying to steal your actual Monero coins. And that kind of goes into the controversy with Monero V. The first one is, since the code is not open, like I said, you are going to need your private keys to claim your Monero V. And if you use your private keys to claim your Monero V, there could be a backdoor of where they actually go into that wallet and then steal your Monero coins. And I'll tell you how to prevent that. 
The biggest one though is Monero being such a privacy coin. If you go on to anything on the dark web, everything, everything is the currency, the dark or deep web is Monero. And because it's so robust in its privacy, the big controversy is with Monero V coming out, the transactions could be tied to IDs. And so when you claim the Monero V with your private keys, they could look at all your previous transactions. And if they have enough people that claim the Monero V coins, then they could really connect the dots and see who's transacting with everybody. That is if there is enough people, but it does give all your transaction history possibly if you're claiming the Monero V coins with your private key. And that is a big controversy with Monero because Monero being completely anonymous, obviously you don't want those dots to connect. And that's what they do with Bitcoin, like with the Coinbase giving the records to the IRS. They're just connecting the transactions to identify users. With Monero, you don't want to identify users, and this could be a possible way of identifying users to look at previous transactions with the ring signature and then seeing which one out of the five transactions, which four are decoy, and then which, which transaction is the real transaction to someone else. That is what the Monero community does not like about this because it kind of gives a vulnerability of the anonymous user transactions with the Monero chain by claiming these Monero V coins. I'm going to link a, a website that talks about really what, you know, it explains in detail about this if you want to. It's a good article. It's obviously biased against Monero V, but it's a really good article that you can take a look at. Along with that, what you need to do to protect yourself, it's fairly easy to protect yourself and it's going to be extremely important to protect yourself, is if you have a main Monero wallet and you've used that for all your transactions and then use that wallet with the private key to claim your Monero V, well then they could possibly have a backdoor and steal your Monero coins. And then along with that is your transaction history could be revealed as well with the Monero V. The biggest way to combat that is if with your main wallet, transfer all your coins into a new wallet. And then after the fork happens, you have the private keys, they take a snapshot so they know, you know how many Monero coins you have. Don't keep your Monero coins in that wallet. Transfer it to a new main wallet. So there's no coins, you know, no Monero coins to, to possibly take out. Transfer all your coins onto that and then use your private key on that, that old wallet that there is no Monero coins. Use that to claim your Monero V coins. I think I don't think that anything is going to happen, but you really want to be more safe than sorry. And so you don't want anybody to have access to any of your coins. And this is a way to protect yourself of possibly getting your coins stolen. Because the thing is, is the developers are anonymous. The code right now is not released. And so there's some possible things that could happen to your Monero of, you know, it, there's no repercussions on a developer that is not released. What are my thoughts on this? I personally, I think Monero is a solid coin. It's, I mean, it's like I said, it's used on pretty much everything on the dark or deep web. And so I don't think Monero is going anywhere. And if you think, I think this will actually maybe improve the coins uh, price because people want the free that people always want free coins i think it's going to actually improve monero price for just a little while up until the fork i don't think it's going to be considerable i personally am not i don't have monero and i don't plan on partaking with monero v there's just there is a lot of red flags with the code not being open the developers and you know possibly backdoor to your monero there's ways to prevent that, but I personally am not going to partake that. 
I think Monero period is a solid play and it's going to continue to go up. So if you think, you know, you could increase the value of your coins or you want the free Monero V coins and you see the importance of this, then this is a good way to do it. But that's what my thoughts are on it. What do you think about the controversy? Have you, are you already a Monero holder? What do you think about that? What do you think about Monero V? Are they going to release the code? And just tell me your thoughts. Would love to hear what you have to think about that. And please like and subscribe. I appreciate it.